Okay, so now we want to analyze some um, member forces, as in what, what forces are acting on these actual members. Are they in compression? Are they in tension? Um, what's actually happening with these? Now, you asked for a specific one. I think it was member AB, so we're going to focus on, on that one. So we're going to focus on this member right here to find that. Um, and really, it's just an iterative, iterative process. You're going to look at joint by joint and figure out what you need to figure out. So, okay, we're going to look at joint A, first of all. We're done with the, the, whole, the, the whole thing as the, the free body diagram as a whole and the whole structure. We need a free body diagram of point A specifically, of joint A. So let's look at joint A. There's the joint. Now I have member AD coming in here. And I'm going to assume all these members are pulling outwards. I'm going to assume these members are in tension. Because if they're not, this will come out to be negative, and that will tell me that it's in compression. All right, so this is the force of AD, member AD, on this joint. I have the force of member um, AB, which we eventually want to find, right there. And I have a reaction force, um, RF. A Y. So those are the three forces I have in here. Obviously, as they are right now, I forgot to get this actually in the shot, sorry. As they are right now, these don't cancel. So some of these are going to end up being, um, probably going to end up being negative. Now we know RFAY is positive, so that's true. So let's start looking at this. Again, we're not going to do moments with this, but we're still going to sum the forces. All these forces should add up to zero. So some of the forces in the y direction, and I'm going to start with that because I know one of the forces in the y direction. I know RFAY. Okay, so RFAY plus FAB in the y direction, which means the y component of this guy, um, is going to equal zero. So FABY equals negative RFAY. Um, so now I need, if I look at this angle right here, um, or even better yet, forget that angle, let's look at this angle right here against the horizontal. And we usually look at angles from the horizontal. There's no reason we have to, it's just that's the usual convention. So FABY in that direction is really FAB times, um, let's see, this would be uh, the kind of this triangle here, this is the opposite side, so times the sine of theta, whatever that angle theta is, and we'll go back and figure that out in a second, is equal to our negative RFAY was, let's back up here, RFAY was 600 newtons, so negative 600 newtons. Um, okay, so now we need the sine of theta. Um, so sine of theta, how are we going to figure out that? Well, let's look back at our diagram here. This is angle theta right here. Now we have a distance here. This is 4 meters. This is 3 meters. That kind of looks out for us. This is a 3, 4, 5 triangle. Now you could work out um, a squared, b squared equals c squared if you want to, but that tells us that this side is 5 meters. Now if I want the sine of this angle, sine of any angle is opposite over hypotenuse. Right? So the opposite side here is 4 meters over the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is 5 meters, so 4 over 5. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually divide this over because I want that to be on the other side, sine of theta. So I get FAB is equal to negative 600 newtons divided by the sine of theta. And we just said that's um, 4 fifths or 0 0.8 if you divide that out. 4 fifths or 0 0.8. So 600 divided by 0.8. Let me grab a calculator. Um, one second, of course, I don't have it open ready to go because I wasn't thinking that far ahead, but 600 divided by 0.8 gives us 750. So the force in member FAB is 750 newtons. Oh, don't forget the negative. The negative, which means it's 750 newtons in compression because we assumed it to be in tension. Um, it's actually in compression. So it's not pulling on this joint, it's actually pushing on the joint because um, the joint is pushing on uh, that member in compression. So again, we just all we did was set up the free body diagram for one, one, of, the, one of these joints here, labeled all the forces from the members as well as any reaction forces there, and just summed the forces in the Y. We didn't have to look at the X because we knew we only had one variable. 
and we had to look at the y component of this force, FAB y, which is FAB sine theta, when the theta is taken from the horizontal. Um, and the sine theta we got from the dimensions of this triangle. So it's opposite over hypotenuse, four fifths. So I was able to replace sine of theta. I didn't have to calculate the angle at all. I was able to replace sine of theta with four fifths or 0.8 divided out. I get 750 newtons. And you'd repeat this process for all the rest. I'm not going to take the time to do that, but um, you see how you would set that up and go through more um, joints and more members and that kind of thing. So any other questions, let me know. I hope that helps. Good luck, and talk to you later.